Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go so we've got a you know special purpose trailer to make today. Oh my battery's running dead. Okay, fresh battery, that should be better. Right, uh, so special trailer. Some of you might notice this, uh, recognize this as a caravan chassis. Yeah, um, uh, tour, a single axle tour. Uh, I think it was a 16 footer, which is cool because we, we're gonna have a load of about 16 foot. All right, um, uh, basically, uh, if you all remember, last year I bought a load of um, palletized tanks or IBCs, 1000 litre tanks, uh, and I got rid of them this year. Uh, stuck a little ad on Facebook, and because I have a truck, offered free local delivery, and they uh, they vanished <laughs> like, within a couple of weeks. Yeah, so uh, I did did keep a few for my own needs uh, but the rest of them I had seven in total and uh, so yeah they were they were very much appreciated by uh, by the locals you know um, with the free delivery because most people struggle to transport them but, um, so uh, what I was thinking uh, it's a little bit of a side hustle that shouldn't take up too much of my time um, I want to make a special purpose trailer out of this caravan chassis that will take 16 of those tanks so I can go to the getting place get 16 of those tanks bring this trailer back full of tanks park it up under a tree somewhere and take the tanks off as and when they get sold so I'll pull them off wash them and then deliver them in the truck yeah Okay, so uh, the progress on the crappy little trailer is coming along. But this is a this is a good time to demonstrate what I meant with the twisting of the rails here. So, um, the bed height, a couple of planks on here. These were just to get get everything lined up. If we uh, look at the look at the bend there. Whilst I jiggle the trailer, you can see that you can see that twist. get rid of that twist in a couple of places it's mainly uh, mainly in the angle bit of the rails yeah okay so there we there we have it winds picked up a bit out here um, taking taking the flex out of the chassis and the only thing left I think uh, look we've got a, got a cross piece in there out of fairly heavy angle and then another one at the back fairly light angle um, we can jump up and down on the back now and it doesn't it doesn't flex the front which is good the only only little bit of waggle left is uh, a bit of lateral play if I yeah, yeah. but I'm going to plank it and now the planking will take it out um, alright next up is to put a bit of triangulation in these so I want to just put a couple of pieces on some of them uh, just to stop stop a parallelogramming like that and I'm gonna have to do the same between these middle ones just put a couple of rods on each side tying them together diagonally so nothing terrible happens if I stamp on the brakes so I'm gonna weld the weld some cleats on um, and then Take it all apart, weld it up, spray it and put it back together. Okay, so that's as much of a um, as much of a bed as it's going to get. Um, that's all it needs, I think. Um, 
Yeah, I've got my little plastic caps on there to keep the old bill happy. And what, we haven't quite got this end frame on. I figured I'd uh, probably actually put all the lighting on that before I bolt that on. Um, make life easier, wouldn't it? Okay, look, these are the uh, few bits of alley I've got pinned on the back here um, to take the lights. Uh, these are old railway signs someone very kindly gave to me. Cheers, Dave. Um, the thing is, uh, you can still see the back of the sign from up top here, so... Um, these are probably a little bit bait. I mean, they're, they're all legally obtained in that, I guess. Um, but, you know, that's the sort of thing that gets a notepad out, and you know, <laughs> once the notepad's out, it's quite easy to make a list of stuff that I've done wrong, isn't it? So uh, we'll just stick a bit of paint on them and then hang the lights up. Okay, um, stop, side, indicator, fog, reflector, number plate lights, same again on that side. Uh, these, This is the legal requirements in the UK for a trailer this side, size. She's all wired up, um, frames on the back, looks, uh, looks pretty reasonable pretty reasonable got my reflectors down the side my little little covers on uh, I loomed it up it's of insulation tape you know not untidy um, would have liked to have got that uh, that loom running in a different area I'm, I'm thinking about what I can put on top just just there maybe a bit of a one by three or something timber Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. I'll just be careful for the time being. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wonder how long that'll last before I rip the loom up. Um, got a plug on this end. I think I'm pretty much done. The only thing I've got to do, I couldn't save that wheel bearing, so I put it on temporarily, and I've just got a, a new one in the post. So I'll grease that up, and we'll uh, stick that on, and it's pretty much done, isn't it? So, uh, these are pretty funny shaped IBCs, aren't they, eh? Um, you know the weirdest things happen, don't they? So, I've been, I've been getting IBCs for 15 quid off my mate, about 20 miles away from here, which is why I built the trailer, yeah? In the time it took me to build the trailer, management finally decided, way up, it's windy out here, isn't it? That, um... Management at his place decided that they were going to get bulk deliveries and and what? No more, no more IBCs. Yep. <laughs> what are the chances of that? So uh, I missed out on those. I have been looking, as you can tell, it's been a been a few months since I built this trailer. Um, you know, I've been keeping an eye out, but uh, unless I can get IBCs for like 10, 15 quid, it doesn't doesn't really make sense. You're not. Uh, you're not making enough um, enough money to, to make it worthwhile. So I'll keep on looking, but uh, these turned up in the meantime. <laughs> these are, I don't even know what they are. I, I don't even know what they are. These are brand new. I've got a bit of toe and groove in there, an opening, batten there, batten there, heavy a bit there. I don't know if they're uh, part of a pergola or some sort of decking system or I don't know. I've got no idea what they are. A bit of a shed maybe, but it doesn't really make sense. It's never going to be watertight if it's a shed, is it? Yeah? But, I'll try and flog them. And, uh, if not, there's plenty of material there to be making stuff out of, isn't there, eh? So, uh, you know, the tra trailer's trailer's been useful so I can at least uh, show you it loaded. It tows horribly. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I just put um, much stiffer springs in the back of this thing. Well, this year anyway. Uh, it looks like it's flexing a tiny bit, but um, yeah, it's just wobbling all over the place, isn't it? Wobbling all over the place. 
Hey ho. <laughs> Such is life, eh? Such is life. I'm not upset. Look, we've got a load of uh, load of panels. No idea what we're going to do with them, uh, what they're worth. If anyone, if anyone wants some of them, um, you know, come and help yourself. Uh, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Been making this video over a fairly long time and still haven't got any IBCs, but you know, that, that's a trailer for you. It's a bit shit, but uh, yeah, take it easy, folks. Bye bye.